Oh, hey there. I'm just solving a quick physics question on the board. Here it is. So the physics question that I'm solving is a three-part question that has three separate trains being pulled by a force applied of 23 newtons. I'm going to start the question by imagining all three of them are combined together into one giant container. The mass, of course, is going to be all three of them added together. Force applied will still remain the same. The entire train is moving with the same amount of acceleration. And the force of friction present is pulling it back and resisting it. The question tells me that the mu for the entire problem will be 0.1. That is my coefficient of friction that I'm solving and using for. I want to find the acceleration of the system, so I'm going to look at the F net in the y direction. Where the forces present are the force applied and the force of friction. I know that S is always equal to MA. I can isolate and solve for A. I have all the variables needed to solve for A now. I can rewrite friction with the formula that friction present is equal to the mu and the force normal. In this question, I know that the force normal is present, but it's equal and opposite to gravity. Gravity, I know, is m times the gravitational acceleration. So A in this case will be I have all the variables present. Plugging into the calculator, I will get that the value is 0 0.06 meters per second squared. That is my acceleration for one cart or the entire cart together. To continue on the question, I'm going to look now to solve for the tensions present between the carts. I want to start at the very back one, the farthest one. The reason for that is that it has the least amount of arrows or force vectors present. We're going to continue on and solve for the back cart. We know the mass of the car and we know that the force is present. Tension is pulling the car forward. We'll call this tension one. Force of friction is acting on the bottom of the car, slowing it down. Force of gravity and force normal are present. If we want to solve for tension, which is in the y component, we're going to look at F net in the y direction, where tension and force of friction are present. Tension is worse working against friction. Friction is making it harder to move the car forward. We know that F net is always equal to MA. Tension minus force of friction, tension one. We want to isolate for tension one and isolate and solve for it. So tension one will be MA being added to friction. We can rearrange and solve for the variables. We know what these numbers are. We know what M and A are. We can change the force of friction to the usual equation mu Fn. In this case, we also know that Fn is equal to Fg, so we can write that Ma plus mu Fn being changed into Mg. So we have Mg once again. We can plug our numbers into this question to get our result. The mass of the car is 4. The acceleration of the entire system is 0 0.663. Mu is my variable 0 
and the other numbers are just constants. Solving for these numbers, we'll get that the answer is 6.57 newtons, or 6.6 .6 newtons. That's our tension one present in the first cart. In the very back, we call the cart number three. If you continue with this logic, we can solve once again for the middle cart, the idea being the same, except there's now different variables present. So if we look at cart number two, what we have present in terms of vectors, we have tension, which we'll call tension two. Tension one is present, but this time it is pulling back the cart with force of friction. Force gravity is present, force normal is pulling it up. In total, this cart only weighs two kilograms. We want to look for the y component, the y variable. We'll have that F net y is equal to tension 2, and it's working against tension 1 and friction. Just like the previous solution, we can change F net to MA, and all the other variables are present as well. We're isolating for tension 2. So tension 2 will be equal to MA from this variable here plus the entire other side, tension one plus force of friction. We're now going to plug our variables in to see what we get. We get the tension two is equal to the mass of two kilograms times the acceleration of the system of 0 0.663 plus tension one, which we solve for to be 6.57 plus force of friction, which just like the previous two times, we changed to mu mg. With this present, we can solve for tension two. Tension two will equal to 9.89 newtons. Or tension two is 9.9 .9 newtons. All right, finish racing. So we have in the results that the acceleration was 0 0.663 meters per second squared. Tension between the last two cards was 6.6 .6 newtons, while tension between the first two cards was 9.9 .9 newtons, following our two significant figure value. So these are our therefore statements, and we are completed with the question. We, however, are able to check our work by looking at the very first card that we've been ignoring so far. We know the first card has a mass of 8 kilograms. Since the beginning of the question, we know that the applied force is 23 newtons. We know that the gravitation and the normal force are equal and opposite. The second car is pulling the first car back which is working together with friction. If we look in the y direction, all our values should work out. So we can say that the normal force, which will be part of friction, will come into play and equate all of the variables present. F9 in the y direction has a force applied, being both of tension and the force of friction. So what we have is the force net is MA, force applied, tension 2, and mu Fn. MA is the mass times the system's acceleration, which will give us a value of about 5.3. If we look in the other side, we have 23 minus 9.9, .9, which is a tension rounded from the second value plus 0 0.1, multiplied by mg, which is the mass and the gravitational force, m being 8, g being 9.8. If we look at all these values, 23 subtracted from all of these terms, we'll see that the answer will also be equal to 5.3 after rounding, showing us that our results worked out because the last card still holds.